In this problem, we have a block that's sliding to the left along a frictionless surface, and it's going to hit and stick together with another block. And after those two blocks stick together, they're going to slide up a ramp. So because the two masses stick together, what we have here is a completely inelastic collision. A completely inelastic collision is when the two objects collide and stick together and move as one object. And so this is a problem that involves conservation of momentum and conservation of energy. We're going to use conservation of momentum to figure out what the velocity of the two blocks would be right after they stick together. And then those two blocks move together and slide up the hill, and we're going to figure out how high they go up the hill from conservation of energy. So let's look at the first part. Let's look at finding what the velocity of the objects is after they stick together using conservation of momentum. In this problem, I'm making left my positive x direction, so my momentum is going to be positive. So the initial momentum is the momentum of the 84 kilogram object, which is zero, because that's not moving, plus the momentum of the 452 kilogram object. It's 452 kilograms times 11 meters per second. And so that initial momentum is 4,972 kilogram meters per second to the left. So now we're going to use this momentum to find the velocity of the two objects together right after the collision. So they stick together. So the total mass, m1 plus m2, is 452 plus 84, or 536 kilograms. And so the final momentum right after they stick together is that total mass, 536 kilograms, times the unknown velocity, v. And because momentum is conserved in all collisions, I know that the initial momentum of 4,972 kilogram meters per second has to equal the final momentum. The final momentum is the mass, 536 kilograms times V. And so this gives me a speed of 9.276 meters per second right after they stick together. And so now we're going to use the idea of conservation of energy. After the collision, the mechanical energy is conserved. After the two objects stick together, the only forces that are acting on the objects are conservative forces, and so we can use conservation of mechanical energy. We cannot look at it while the collision is happening. That force between the two objects when they're colliding is a non-conservative force. The energy is changing. So we can't use the energy before the collision and relate it to the energy after the collision. We use momentum to look at the collision part and then we use conservation of energy after the collision. So conservation of mechanical energy says that the potential energy plus the kinetic energy at one point equals the potential energy plus the kinetic energy at some other point. And so we're going to call the height zero at the horizontal surface that they're sliding along. Again, we're looking at after the collision, so they're moving at 9.276 meters per second. That's that speed that we found after the collision. And now they're going to slide up this ramp, and we're going to figure out what height they slide up to. And so the initial height is zero, so the initial potential energy is zero. The initial kinetic energy, again, this is after the collision, the kinetic energy right after the collision is one half times the total mass of 536 kilograms times the speed 9.276 squared. And that equals the final potential energy, mgh. We know the mass, we know g, we're looking for the height. And they slide up and they stop. So the final kinetic energy is going to be zero. And solving this, we get the height at the end, the height when they stop is 4.39 meters. This problem looks a little bit different, but it's the same idea as in a ballistic pendulum, where you fire a bullet into a block, and the block swings up to a certain angle, and we look at the angle, and we use it to figure out what the initial velocity of the bullet was. This is the same idea where we use conservation of momentum for the collision, and then we use conservation of energy after the collision. You have to be able to break it up into the two pieces. So while they're colliding, the energy is changing. You can use conservation of energy before the collision 
or you could use conservation of energy after the collision, but you cannot use energy before the collision and relate it to energy after the collision in general.